Hey y'all, it's your girl Mimi and I'm back with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do passion twists on this long hair. We're doing just slightly past her shoulders, enough basically to pass her hair. And as you guys can see, I pre-sectioned her hair and the width is pretty much about the width of a comb for each section. So that way I could just go in, part and go. I did most of the back, but as I got to the front, I decided to go ahead and show you guys how I achieved this look. In this video, I'm starting the twist off as twist, by the way. So if you're looking for a tutorial on how to start twist as a braid, I think I'm going to do that in a separate video. But this one specifically is how to start a twist as a twist. I'm using the pre-fluffed hair, which is Water Poppin' Twist by Freetress. A lot of people asked me in my last video, what hair did I use? And that is the one that I like to use for passion twists. As long as it says water in the description of the hair, you should be fine if it says water wave of sorts. So as you guys can see, it takes me a little bit before I can really get the twist. This is the main reason why I'm not too big into twists because I feel like they unravel way easier than a braid would unravel. As I twist her hair, I do use the Miel braid gel in this video too. And I use that all throughout her hair strands so that way it can be nice and sleek and tucked into the twist as I twist down. The key to a nice twist is you're actually rotating the hair while you're twisting it. So you're rotating them both counterclockwise or you can do it both clockwise, but basically you have to rotate it and twist at the same time. I think this hair is about 16 or 18 inches, but as y'all can see, it stops like literally right past her hair and the picture that she showed me was shoulder length, but her hair obviously is too long for shoulder length. And y'all don't come for me because when you shampoo and blow dry, your hands get a little ashy. Now y'all can see I'm at her edges, so it's very important that when you apply your gel to the edges, you're combing it through. Well, really when you do it to any section, you wanna make sure that you are actually combing the gel down at the base, so that way it lays flat. As y'all can probably see, I'm cracking my knuckles a whole lot in this video. It's something about twists that make me crack my knuckles a lot more, especially my thumbs. Um, but I don't wanna say that I have carpal tunnel or anything because this usually only happens when I do twists. Right now I'm on vacation and my thumb feels fine. So I don't think I have anything serious, but twisting will do it to me. So when y'all are twisting, again, make sure that you are making sure the natural hair is very sleek. Sometimes you can also use a mousse to twist or like a twisting butter or gel, or I mean a twisting gel, but I prefer just like a regular braiding gel because I feel like it lasts a little bit longer. The other methods are great when it's your natural hair, but with extensions, gel actually works the best. Please keep in mind, this is my personal opinion. If you see another YouTube video, you might see someone who likes twisting butters the best, but you have to figure out what works best for you as a stylist.
All right, so here's another view of the edges. Just note how I'm rotating the twist at the root first. So that way, when I do begin twisting her hair down, then that way it doesn't continue to rotate or pull her edges. One thing I do want to mention is when you're doing these twists, if you want it long, then get long hair. If you want it short, then get short hair. Do not cut it, or unless it's just the ends, but do not cut like a blunt cut into these twists because all your hard work will unravel, I promise.
So I'm pretty much done with the look. At the end, I put on some mousse. This is not the style that you want to put in water and dip the ends. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you stick around to the end, you'll see the price and all the info on this style.